Welcome to Firearms Guide YouTube channel. Firearmsguide.com is the world's largest firearms and ammunition reference guide, gun value guide, and also gunsmithing library with over 18,000 printable gun schematics, blueprints, and gun manuals. But this is Olight Seeker 3 Pro model. Phenomenal flashlight with the maximum output of 4,200 lumens with a throw of 250 meters of the beam. So let's quickly unbox it and then we go through all the technical features first you have this thing with a couple of instructions and advice how to use it then of course what we have we have a flashlight in holster and some other box let's open that one to see what we have here okay here is a charging cable and what else we have and we have all light user manual Charging cable, you know how it goes. You plug it here, USB, and then boom, on the end of the flashlight to charge the battery. As we can see, the holster is phenomenal. You have here a thing for the belt, you know, you can put it around your belt. And pretty solid buckle we have here. You press it, and it comes right off. And the Olight Seeker 3 Pro flashlight is right here. What I like about this flashlight uh, quality, uh, manufacturing quality is phenomenal. Here you have this rubberized uh, side with the finger grooves. So when you hold it in your hand, it's uh, it's a pretty sturdy hold. It won't go anywhere. And then we have a four LED lights right here. Uh, this thing has these little nails here, and you can you know scratch something with it if you want. And uh, at the beginning, you cannot start it because you have to first unscrew the back, take this plastic insulated thing here. And let's see. First, this flashlight comes with original Olight 21700 rechargeable lithium ion battery, 5000 milliampers. And that's great. You can take it out, you can put it back in, you can charge it in battery charger or with this Olight thing. And you can bring a couple of those if you need. And change them in field is when you need it. Uh, recharging cable goes directly here and it's gonna charge the battery and that's very convenient but like I said you can even charge it without this thing. And now let's see a couple of functions of this Olight Seeker 3 Pro model. Now let's see how to operate Olight Seeker 3 Pro model. First thing you have to know that here on the back of the flashlight there is no button you know this thing actually just serves the purpose of you know recharging the battery with your provided cable and all, every operation of the flashlight goes directly through this operating knob. First what we have to know that now the flashlight is in uh, unlock or uh, lock state which means that yeah, after 30 seconds of not being used flashlight automatically goes into the lockout state which means that by pressing this button you can literally not do anything you will not turn on the flashlight just by clicking the button actually you will only thing that will happen it will show you how uh, full is your battery in it three green light means that right now my battery is 75 percent uh, charged so what you have to do to turn on the flashlight is press this knob and turn it, the knob uh, 90 degrees so let's do that you click it and you kind of rotate it and here it is now it's on now how to adjust the brightness or change the brightness level with this flashlight you have two options first thing you can click the knob and keep it pressed and it will automatically go through several different light modes from low medium and high of course and then the second feature to adjust the brightness of your flashlight is actually rotating this knob clockwise or counterclockwise so let's do that look at this now I'm gonna turn it clockwise and I'll make it brighter and brighter and now I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise to dim it a little bit so basically anyone can find the perfect level for any situation anytime just rotate the knob however you need to adjust properly the light towards your need at that particular moment one click and light is off all light seeker 3 Pro model has uh, built-in memory to memorize the last light mode that you were using 
and also has a strobe and a turbo mode. So let's first check the turbo mode. First thing you have to turn the flashlight on, of course. Now it's locked out, so we have to rotate it a little bit and then press the button. And then to enter the turbo mode, you have to quickly press it twice. When it comes into the turbo mode, if you want to get it out, you have to also press it twice and you will be again in this mode. And if you want to completely turn off the flashlight, then you just press it once. So now let's check it out. Press it twice for a turbo mode. Puck, puck. Here it is. And if I press it twice, I will go back into the original mode. Let's do that again and then press it once just to get out of the turbo mode and to turn off the light completely. Oops, I press it three times. So turbo mode and when I press it only once it will turn off the flashlight completely. That's awesome. Now let's see about moonlight mode and proximity protection function of the Olight Seeker 3 Pro model. First it's a moonlight mode. You know to get it into the moonlight mode the only thing you have to do actually is just touch the knob and hold it for a second or two and then you're in that moonlight mode that will be excellent for example if you have to read something in your tent during night or something like that you don't need your light to be too powerful to blind you so just one click to turn it off and then when you want moonlight mode again hold it for a second or two and that's all so that's a great thing very intuitive no problem whatsoever and now let's see that proximity protection function Proximity protection function is automatically built into the Seeker 3 and you can turn it off if you don't like it. But now let's see what, I, what I'm talking about. First thing, for example, you can adjust brightness to be really, really high. And then when your flashlight comes to a wall or to some objects, you don't want to be blinded with, by it. So when you're going this, it will dim it. And then when you move it again, it's going to be in a super strong mode. So super strong mode, very powerful light right now. And then it dims automatically. And then again, full powerful mode. And then dimming, automatic dimming, which is great. That proximity protection function, like I said, it's uh, built in and it's automatically on and you can turn it off. And how about to, how to turn it off? You can really read in the manual. No need to go through that in this demonstration. Okay, so let's now test the O-Light o flashlight. First, we're going to start with a low mode, which is really just for seeing what's around you. And then we're going to go into the mid mode. And then we're going to go into the high mode. If I'm not wrong, that's a thousand lumens. You can see really almost everything around you. It's a great mode providing phenomenal quantity of light. This is pretty wide open area. And I'll try then to push into the turbo mode, which is phenomenal. Look at this. This house is exactly 55 yards away and you can see everything. In reality, it looks much better than will be recorded through my cell phone. So I doubt that the YouTube video will be able to show you how much of the light there really is, but there is a tons of light in this turbo mode, it's phenomenal. And then I'm going to try to push it now into the strobe mode. And it's awesome, again, wonderful. All light provides a lot of light. You can easily dim it by turning the round knob, or you can make it more brighter by pushing this uh, round knob clockwise and then counterclockwise dim it again almost to the zero and then push it again all the way up so it's phenomenal light very good flashlight 